At the TV Critics Convention held in Los Angeles earlier this summer, a number of top TV producers who also happened to be gay were there. They spoke to me about their views of the current TV landscape, what's coming up for some of their gay characters, and what they like to watch. Greg Berlanti is an executive producer on ABC's Brothers and Sisters. He's also behind the network's new superhero drama, No Ordinary Family. Looking back to his work on Dawson's Creek, he says times really have changed for gay content on TV, both in front of the camera and behind it. The biggest change probably that I could cite would be the difference between, you know, having to threaten to quit Dawson's Creek to get a gay kiss versus, you know, last or, or two years ago and Kevin and Scotty, it was like the network was telling us the first year, like, it feels weird that they wouldn't kiss at the end of that scene, any other character would kiss at the end, and that, that sort of, I, I sort of felt like the chapter had kind of closed at that point and that things had, had moved on, and I think that, that was neat. Not everyone agrees. Will and Grace creators Max Muchnick and David Cohan are executive producers on the new CBS comedy Bleep My Dad Says. Here's Muchnick's take on the state of gay TV. I'm disappointed that, that since a show like Will and Grace, we haven't seen um, other shows emerge with strong gay characters at the center of the show. You know, that why aren't they the leading men and leading women of shows? I don't think that they need to be in every show, and I understand all of that, but I would love to see more of it, and I just don't feel like it's out there like it should be. Meanwhile, CBS is fighting criticism that gay characters are less visible on its airwaves than any other networks. And the network's entertainment president, Nina Tassler, told reporters at the convention that she's looking at how to correct that. In fact, she mentioned that a small gay role on Bleep My Dad Says, featuring Tim Bagley, will be expanded. Muchnick confirmed that as well. We've just finished uh, writing an episode that will hopefully uh, entrench him into the, uh, the, the, the family of the series, and he's going to end up um, in um, the Goodson house, and uh, um, I, I, I think that, that, that we have a very good shot at having a big, loud, gay presence every week on Believe My Dad Says. In the character of Kurt Hummel, Glee creator Ryan Murphy has come up with one of the most compelling backstories of any gay TV character. And here's what's coming up for him. A lot of people love that big scene that we did at the end of last year that I think was one of our great scenes where Kurt's dad defended him after he was called the F word. Uh, so we're going to continue that story with his dad finding more about Kurt's sort of crushes and talking to Kurt about it and really understanding, being upset at first, but then really understanding like that, you know, when you're 15, you see other people around you having the first kiss and holding hands in, the high, in high school and going to the prom. and. You, you can't do that, so that makes you feel alone and isolated, and it's very, very painful. Um, and it causes many people, I think, to sort of live a lie. And I really want to talk about that. I really want to, to have the dad learn more about what Kurt has to deal with and sort of understand his choices, if not agree with them. That's what that relationship is really about. Not surprisingly, Glee ranked among some producers' favorite shows, as did other usual suspects. I love every character on Modern Family, so it's, it's they're all, um, you know, I like that the, the, the uh, characters who are gay are, are as interesting to me as the other one, you know, and, and I just, uh, I like some of the storylines that they do on that show in particular, and, uh, and and I think still Cable is always sort of sets a standard, you know, and uh, people taking things further and further. I like the androgynous nature of True Blood and how, you know, um, I think that's really sexy and fun, and so um, I like all those things. In the spirit of full disclosure, True Blood is my favorite, too, with Modern Family close behind. But as much Nick said, these aren't central characters. Of course, neither is Glee's Kurt Hummel, but add in Jane Lynch's presence, not to mention the music, and it's like the holy trifecta of gayness, isn't it? Well, at least one person at the convention agreed with me. Kids in the Hall's Scott Thompson, who was there promoting his troops' new series on IFC, Death Comes to Town. Glee is the gayest, that's gayer than like gay porn. That is unbelievably gay and that people have embraced it is freaky to me. Alan Frutkin, Media Week.